bit of state, but um, we'll see. We'll see what the score is. Back to you, Adam. Good question, that, Ed. I thought, has he been slightly exposed? Probably not. It was a tough, tough ask. Ivan Mendy with all the experience he's up on Paul's card. I'll tell you what it is, though. It is the best 36 minutes of his life in terms of education for Luke Campbell. However the judges have it, he can go back to the drawing board, look at this, and come back a better fighter. Because a defeat doesn't mean the end of the world, Paul. It wouldn't. Listen, I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope the judges have scored it completely. This was actually... Um seven uh fights ago for luke campbell three years ago he's 18 and 2 with 15 ko's i don't know what uh mindy's record was at that time but he was highly more experienced actually it was seven fights ago for yvonne mindy too they first fought in december this right here what you're seeing is from december of uh 2015 since then they've both had seven fights ladies and gentlemen we go to our judges score totals. Massimo Barevecchio sees this contest 1-1-5, one, 1-1-2 one, 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 in favor of Ivan Mendy. Judge John Keane sees the contest 1-1-5 one, one, and 1-1-3 one, one, in favor of Luke Campbell. Judge Robin Dolpierre, 1-1-5, one, 1-1-3 one, 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 in favor of the winner, the new WBC International Lightweight Champion, Ivan Mendy. Mindy with the big! First I was I was catching him a lot and to Adam Body, you know, and copping the odd shot now and again, but it was after I hit him with a combination. You know, like I say, I'm not, um, I'm not a judge, referee in the fight or anything, so all I can do is get in there and do the boxing. At the same time, you were hit much more often than any time in the past, and you were knocked down in the fifth round. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it was a, it was a good lesson. Yeah, you know, I, sh I showed a lot in there, and uh, like I say, I still, I still feel as I did enough to win the fight, but you know it is what it is. I'm, I'm one of these. I'm a perfectionist. I want to go back to the gym and, and, and work even harder if, if that's possible. So you're offering no excuses about your a kick in the proverbials, but we go there. I mean, you know, it's it's been a long uh, rebuilding uh, path, but it's been a prosperous one. For example, if it wasn't for the knockdown in his fight with Jorge, if it wasn't for the knockdown in his fight with Jorge Linares um in september of last year then in my opinion he was on his way to winning that fight so now he's going to be fighting um i'm guessing that it's going to be the co-feature uh luke campbell versus yvonne mindy too or you know the a-side he should be the a-side since he's had the victory and he's kept winning since yvonne mindy wbc silver champion versus luke campbell too on the undercard of joshua versus pavekin um, September the 22nd here in the States. It's going to be on The Zone and over in the UK. It's going to be on Sky Sports Box Office. Also, you're going to have um, um, Lawrence O'Cauley versus uh, Matty Askin. Um, he looks like Marco Hook, actually, and he fought uh, Christoph Glowowski years back. But looking at Luke Campbell as a fighter, now he may have a baby face and everything like that. He kind of reminds me of, you ever see Children of the Corn? Uh, what is it? Uh, Malachi? No, not Malachi. What's the fucking name? The 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 little guy that be like, you know, he who walks behind the rose. Well, he kind of remind me of. Uh, I'm gonna pull him up. I'm gonna pull him up. No disrespect, man. I'm just having just. What, what do y'all call her over there taking the piss? Uh, children of the corn villain. Is it Jacob? What's this dude's name? What's this villain's guy name? What's this guy's name? Isaac. <laughs> My bad, Ivy. This is great. You can't tell me he don't look like Isaac. Hold on. Let me pull this over here. Luke Campbell don't look like Isaac from Children of the Corn. <laughs> he don't look like Brother Isaac. You can't tell me this is not going to be him when he get older. But anyway, moving on. Yo, Luke Campbell Sharp, man. I've been a supporter for a minute. <laughs> I've been a supporter for, for a nice little while. But looking at the 135-pound division, now you know who's there, right? Mikey Garcia, Lomachenko, sort of winner. So, 
So the win <laughs> So all right, get my shit together. So the winner between Luke Campbell and Yvonne Mindy is gonna be the mandatory likely likely for Mikey Garcia. Or we could get Luke Campbell versus Jorge Linares again. That fight makes pers like that that fight makes sense, especially since Jorge Linares did a rematch with Anthony Crowley. Will we see Luke Campbell versus a Lomachenko? And I know Lomachenko was schooling. No, unfortunately, because of this whole the zone um, where Luke Campbell is going to be fighting over in the States and Lomachenko's ESPN top rank. You know, unless in some type of way it comes to a per, I, I don't see the fight happening. Um, Luke Campbell versus, you know, the winner of Robert Easter versus Richard Comey. You know, that can happen. If obviously we're talking about if Luke Campbell beats Yvonne Mindy, this is 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 it's tough to say because they've both even though they both won their last seven fights since Luke Campbell's had more of, you know, credible names still, you know, Yvonne Mindy is a mental threat to him. And also he's pretty solid as a fighter. I actually sat here and watched the first fight and, and, and skimmed through his past fights before this. Remember, I covered the first fight here on this channel. Let's see if I can find it. Here on this channel. You know, years back. What's that? Three years ago, right? Two and a half years ago. Um, let's see. Can I find myself? Post fight. Yeah, it's me right here. See? Me right here. Let's see. What what do we have behind this? Twenty three hundred. Okay. It was it was solid. You know? But yeah, I covered this fight. But looking at the one hundred and thirty five pound division, I mean, I can see, you know, if you think like Eddie Hearn, right? He would if Luke Campbell were to win, he would try to get that Jorge Linares rematch. Or you know, see what Mikey Garcia is going to do because Mikey Garcia is going to vacate his IBF title sometime in the next couple of weeks or so. It's heavily rumored. Right now it's August the 7th, 2018, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So he's going to definitely be paying attention to what Mikey Garcia does. And also we could see Luke Campbell versus Jorge Linares for that WBC title. So say, for example, if Mikey Garcia beats Errol Spence and he doesn't move back down to 135 pounds or even if he loses to Errol Spence he takes a little extended break doesn't move back to one down to 135 pounds the WBC makes him like a Meredith champion or something Luke Campbell ends up fighting Jorge Linares for the WBC interim or the WBC diamond some old shit like that it's very very possible and in regards to Robert Easter versus Richard Comey even though these rankings are wrong right now, Robert East, I mean, uh, Mikey Garcia is the current champion. It's just that the D IBF hasn't updated their rankings yet. We could very well see Richard Comey versus Robert Easter again for that IBF title. If one of these guys or whoever is going to be ranked high by the IBF at that time turns it down. My money is that we're going to see Richard Comey versus Mario uh, uh, Barrios. You know, Ken... Um, Eddie Hearn, Shoehorn, Luke Campbell versus Anthony Crowler. You know, for like, let's say, for example, if Luke Campbell beats Yvonne Mindy and he can't get Mikey Garcia, he wants just to have like a homecoming fight or something, you know, maybe he can get Anthony Crowler in Hall or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what your arena situation like. In a hole, except that that little one y'all have. But I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. It's going to be on the undercard of uh, Joshua versus uh, Pavekin. I'm wondering if this is going to be the co-feature, or I mean, the, the fight is about what five, six, um, five and a half weeks away. So I'm wondering if this is going to be the le the legitimate co-feature. I mean, I'm down for it. Or if we can get a guy like maybe Kel Brook out of nowhere on the card and they just use his name depending on whoever it is that he fights. Please subscribe on the links to my social media right down below in the description box. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live.